With slope triggering, we can differentiate signals based on their slew rate, or the slope of the edges. In this mode, we can choose either a rising or falling edge, and set timing limits for the maximum and or minimum time it takes to go from one trigger level to the other. This type of triggering is useful for complex signals with a variety of frequency components. In this signal, we can see with edge triggering that many different frequencies are present. Let's switch over to our slope trigger. First, we'll identify the minimum slope, or the slowest rise time. As we move the time up, we see that we stop triggering at around 435 nanoseconds. This is the rise time on our 500 kilohertz signal. We can also capture the maximum slope. We find the base signal at 144 nanosecond rise, which is a 1.5 megahertz signal. You can also set a plus or minus range. If we look for a signal around 200 nanoseconds, we'll find our 1 megahertz carrier. Slope triggering is a great technique for weeding out frequency or bandwidth fluctuations that can make understanding your signals difficult.